There's two shopping jollies under the bridge. Yeah, it looks like we fit one of the jollies. Right here by someone's house. Yeah, trying to start a fire. What a place to have a nest. Yeah. Lovely that is. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a froggle. Right, it is the next morning now. And uh, surprisingly... We're going to fix that table. No, we're not. We had no trouble whatsoever here. Really nice spot. I, yeah. I recommend it. <laughs> Roger said not to recommend it, but yeah, we had no problems. There is supposedly a winding hole just down there, but it's... Trying Roger had looked at it, it's too shallow. So what we got, we got to reverse back out into the junction. Okay. And then I'm going to try and pull the boat round. And then we're going to head on to Dudley number two today. Um, up the Dow flight of n uh, is it nine? Yeah. Well, it's, it's used to be nine, but I think it's eight now. And then we got another one after that, and then uh, then there's one more at Blower's Green, which is where the water point is. Um, and then we'll head down to Horn Basin, which is down what remains of the Dudley Number Two. And then we we'll have to head back and go to Bumble Hole, and that's about 14 miles. And <laughs> We'll probably have to mark up Bumble Hole tonight, but we'll see. We might make it to the Black Country. Oh, someone's come round it, Dad, look. That's good security. Looks like there's another gate down there. This is the National Canal Network. Everything in red is what we have cruised. Now we are here on the Stourbridge Extension Canal. Now our plan is to get through Birmingham in two days, but it's a long way. The van is all the way down in Catherine de Barnes. We're not exactly rushing along the way. We're going to be checking out a few dead-end canals making it 36 miles and 40 locks. But today we'll be making our way back down to the Starbridge Canal before we get to the Dalf Locks, which takes us onto the Dudley Number 1 Canal. Once we're off the top of Dalf Locks, we'll head to Blower's Green, where it joins the Dudley Number 2 Canal. Then we've got a long section with no locks to Bumble Hole before taking a diversion down to Horn Basin, which is what remains of the Dudley Number 2 Canal, which used to join to the Worcester and Birmingham Canal at Sainsbury's, but no longer does. You can see already, look at the state of that. This is my god. There we go. She's clean as a whistle now. And that's what I pulled off. A bag and loads of bramble. Big branch of bramble. <laughs> I've seen that on a prop, but uh, somewhere we hit that. See, when we're leaning the right way and it rains, no water gets the engine. Look how bone dry that is. It's when we need a pump out that the, uh, the problem happens where it leaks into the engine room. Some local just told me uh, there's two shopping jollies under the bridge, so that's good. Roger warned us about this. The only trouble with this spot is when he reversed out of here, his rudder got caught on a fence and it lifted his rudder out. Yeah, it looks like we've hit one of the trolleys. The rudder won't move. <laughs> You're right, Roger. Hit a trolley, but the prop won't spin in, so we're all right. Need a new prop anyway. That wall's gonna fall. What happened? The wall's gonna fall. Um, don't know how it's still there. Don't know, Thanks to all the vegetation and beautiful trees and flowers, you couldn't actually tell that you were in a metropolis. It's actually quite pleasant. Right here 
here by someone's house. Yeah, trying to start a fire. I think this would be the farmer's bridge, this is Josh. <laughs> Remember the last time a farmer was here? Oh, the whole building there abandoned. I've seen no bloody chicks. And I've seen a moorhen chick, I've seen ducklings, and now look at those little things. Hello! It's on the floor. Oh, there's a sink there as well. It's like an old boat yard. There's a nest there. That's a lovely nest, that is. It's quite funny to see a big boat yard like this in amongst all these houses. Showing up out of nowhere now, they are. I believe these were probably the entrances to the transshipment between the Turner's Colliery and the canal. There used to be a little tramway that used to take the coal down from the colliery into the canal. And here we reached the Dalf Flight, which was actually built before the Starbridge Canal, because this takes you onto the Dudley No. 1 Canal. So when this flight was constructed in June 1779, it didn't see any use until the Starbridge Canal was completed in the December. This flight then will take us from 356 feet up to 441 foot above sea level. These are not the original locks though. There used to be nine here, now there's eight. If they were rebuilt in 1858 to reduce the flight by one.
So the top and bottom lock remain original, but the six in between are new because the canal actually used to go down here when it's cast iron bridges and it used to curve around. A lot of the remains of the locks can be seen down there. Big dead brain. Jeez. Well, made it up to up the top of Dalf flight. Very pleasant flight. Very nice people around here actually. You'd be surprised. Very friendly. Everyone says hello to you. <laughs> More sig uh, goslings here. You don't see any, but you come on the BCN, there's loads. I uh, think, yeah. I think we have one more lock to do today, that's it. But a lot more miles. It's only like 10, uh, 20 past 11. But this wind, man, it's so windy. This is Mary Hill Shopping Centre, which occupies the land where the Round Oak Steelworks was. It was founded in 1857 by Lord Ward as an outlet for pig iron made in the nearby blast furnaces. The majority of the iron making in the world was carried out within 32 kilometers of Round Oak. When it opened, it employed 600 men and was capable of producing 550 tons of finished iron per week. Iron began to fall out of fashion and steel production began, so it was converted in the 1890s to steel making. But at its peak it employed 3,000 workers, but by 1982 that figure had fallen to 1,200. The plant finally occurs on the 23rd of December 1982, after 125 years. It actually caused around 25% of unemployment in the town, which was one of the highest unemployment rates of a town in Britain at the time. This old junction here was actually part of a very shortcut because as you can see we've got to go all the way around this hill but this would have been an old shortcut that would have cut right through and we'll show you where it came out once we get there. This was called the Two Locks Line and it was built in 1858 and the main reason for its closure only 35 years later 
was, due to mining subsidence, ceased being used by boats in 1909 and was formally abandoned in 1954. Rubbish has come from those factories. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my, what a place to have a nest. Yeah. Lovely that is. Look that now, another freezer. Just jump off up there and then I'll just wait outside the rock. Flight of locks takes us up to the original connection to the BCN that the Dudley Canal had in the 1790s. As before, the Stour Bridge and Dudley Canals were their own separate network before they were connected to the BCN via the Dudley Tunnel. But we're not going out there today because it's three locks out of our way and we can't go through Dudley Tunnel anyway because it is the lowest tunnel on the network, even lower than Froggle. There must be about three or four foot of clearance, that is about it. You can go through on a trip boat though at the Black Country Museum and it is very interesting inside that tunnel because there is some big caverns in there where they actually have concerts. But before we continue our journey, we've got to get some water. And they have a couple of lovely bacon and egg baps. Right, so we finally got some news on. There's two things going on with the van at the moment. One is the insurance, and the second thing is the fact that we blew up the rear, rear parking brake, didn't we? Yeah, we smashed um, the pieces. They needed changing on the MOT, but the MOT cost so much that we thought, oh, we'll leave it to a little bit later. And then, of course, they, they got smashed to pieces. They came and, off, um, they parted company. And then they just went round inside the wheels and done loads of damage, yeah. so it cost us a fortune. Now it's going to cost us another 400, maybe 550 pounds. We finally got a guy to do it. Once it's all done, we got a, a good van, but no, we could have time to do it, but it would probably take me and Josh probably two or three we days, what it. a mechanic could do in half a if day. If you had narrowboat wheelie with us, I'm sure he would have. Uh, yeah. You'd would, uh, you know what you're doing. Narrowboat wheel would. Um, but... Because that's why it's narrowboat, narrowboat, narrowboat wheel! Wheel! Anyway, so... That's going to cost £400 and then we've got £550 access when this bloody insurance company finally say, you know, green light to all the, the body repairs. I don't know why it's taking so is, long. The thing is, one of the, the ABS ring as well is loose in there and I'm a bit worried about that. If that mm. comes apart, that could do some more damage in there. Yeah, so it's going to get done this weekend. But we filled up the water, blowers green. We didn't think any, there was any rubbish there. And then we go up through the bridge and then there's rubbish. <laughs> We're fine on average rubbish point anyway. Wouldn't expect to see that in the BCM, would you? And this is where we would have come out of if the two locks branch still existed. But I have to be honest, I'd rather take the contour can out any day.
a nice little uh, secluded spot in the BCN. I have to say, I'm very pleasantly surprised coming through here, you know. You wouldn't expect it to be this nice, and it really is quite nice through here. Little daisies. It's like snow. I think there's not a, a special Peugeot box or one. There's a box there. Yeah. I can't see why not. That right there is the original line of the canal where it would have looped round. And I'll show you where that loop comes back out in a minute. But most of that is intact still. But there's a tiny little bit that doesn't quite join back up. This is Bumble Hole, which is mostly regarded as being quite a safe place to moor. And this is where that loop came back out and would have continued straight down here towards Horn Basin, which is where we're going now for a little stop off. It's nice there, isn't you? It's <laughs> cozy. Made it down, made it to Bumble Hole now. As you can see by my hair, it's really windy. We've got a side blown going down this junction. The slammed into the bridge. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going down to the rest of the Dudley Number no. 2 canal. This used to go and join the Worcester and Birmingham at Sainsbury's, which is, uh, we've done that. That is, it's apparently it's being restored, but the tunnel was one of the longest uh, and it's collapsed in several places. So essentially, if they do restore it, they're not gonna, they're not gonna rebuild the tunnel, they're gonna build some sort of round robin, I don't know, get around the hill. Uh, but yeah, we thought, come and have a little look. It's about three miles, no locks, and uh, it's one tunnel, about 500 yards. And then we'll go back to Bumble Hole, see what the time is, and then maybe we'll try and get to Black Country Museum. And then, then it probably, just a, I don't know, it's gonna be a long day. It's a trouble. I don't know if we'll be able to make it one day all the way down to Catherine Deepans from Black Country Museum. There's a lot of locks. I think it'll be like 28 locks. So we'll see. That's what remains of the old toll house where boats would have been charged for using the canal. Most of these arms are just little tiny arms that went off to factories or transshipments between tramways to collieries. Hundreds of them. Could that be the remains of an old wooden working boat? I don't know, maybe.
Looks like a car's completely crashed and destroyed that bridge. This is Gosty Hill Tunnel and you can actually buy a plaque saying I survived the Gosty Hill Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's like a struggle! Well, the tunnel started off high and then it dramatically drops by a couple of foot, almost as low as struggle. and adventures. I came down here just to see the tunnel. Really. Hello. This is all that remains of the Stuart and Lloyd's steel tube making factory that used to be here and was one of the main users of this canal. been a good spring or winter is it? Well this is Horn Basin, a big basin with plenty of boats and this is the terminus of the Duddy number no. 2 canal. It did go on for about another five miles where it joined the Birmingham Worcester canal. A couple of those miles was the Lapple Tunnel which was 3,795 yards. It was built in 1798 by William Underhill. <laughs> What an ironic name. It had a very small bore, just like the one we just came through, at 7 foot 9 inches, barely wider than the boat. But the tunnel sadly suffered many collapses, and after a collapse in 1917, due to mining subsidence, it was abandoned, and has been abandoned since. And the tunnel has been considered uneconomical to repair. There is a very long term restoration plan though, to get it joined back up to the Worcester and Birmingham. Very tight. <laughs> Right, we're to the end, we've made it to the end of the Dudley number two canal. Um, turn it all, all horn basin. Um, a bit tight, but it was alright. <laughs> Managed to do it. We, uh, I think we just gave that boat a little bit of a love tap with the rear fender. But that's not going to do any damage whatsoever. It's just rubber. Uh, but that tunnel, Gosley Hill, my gosh. That was tight. Um, Roger didn't tell me it was that low. God, it was almost like Froggle. But, um, yeah, it made it through alright. We're going back through it now. Dad was moaning, oh, coming all this way, three miles, three miles, mate. What's the point? <laughs> well, we did get a silver pillar. We got another silver pillar. Because there's a silver pillar there at Horn Basin. 
Couldn't get the uh, name of the boat, but I got that and the photo and the tiller and all that and the bridge. So uh, I think that'll suffice. Anyway, we'll see you back at Bumhole. Bumble. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm not going to record all of this again.